Hello everyone, welcome to our timeless Sunset Tarot. Now, this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs, so just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now, let's try to see what is the main energy at the end of the day. Okay, you're having a tower moment, a crisis moment where you feel helpless, uh, where you feel you are not in control. You know what comes to me right now is that it's a, it's a trial period or a learning period for us to learn to trust the spirit in situations where the spirit takes hold of everything. A tower moment is a moment where in the universe takes the driver's wheel and decides the flow of the situation or the flow of the event for us. It is always for our own good. The crisis moment removes us from certain situations that are not helpful to us. Certain situations that are no longer beneficial for us. But it's challenging in a sense because we relied on such a situation, maybe even such a relationship, or uh, such a, an arrangement in our life situation. We have been relying on it. We felt that it was our security, our fortress. But there are certain things in that aspects or that situation or that relationship that are no longer beneficial for us. And so... Even if we wanted to hold on to it, the universe takes, takes the rain and somehow modifies the situation for us. So sometimes uh, we are surprised why a certain, si a certain situation is suddenly, uh, suddenly goes awry, suddenly goes, suddenly becomes... Uh, sort of like a crisis or we encounter a certain crisis or maybe a relationship suddenly ends and we feel helpless for some they even feel that the world is ending now when that crisis moment comes always remember it is a blessing in disguise the universe is taking you away from a terrible situation in order to give you something much better. Even if we couldn't understand it at this present moment, we just need to trust the Spirit. Now, that helplessness or that feeling of as if you are falling into the abyss, into as if the situation will not resolve itself, it's as if uh, one crisis follows another, that kind of helplessness will stop sooner or later. There's always that, that message, this situation will stop sooner or later. It will stop at the time of the Spirit, at the time of the Divine. You just need to trust that whatever is happening right now, it will be for your own benefit, it will be for your own good, even if you cannot understand it, and even if you cannot see the end of the tunnel, if you cannot uh, somehow uh, fathom how things will turn out, or also why things are turning out as such, you just need to trust the Spirit, and you just tr need to trust that it is for your own good. After the crisis is over, when you look back, 
you will realize that it was for the best. Now, let's try to see how this will further unfold. Okay. You know what I feel like? This person in the Seven of Swords, the universe is removing those painful parts of your life at this time. Those, if it is a relationship, he's removing those relationships that have been causing you pain, causing you anxiety, causing you discomfort. And in a certain sense also, removing those past hurts for you. You see here, it's as if the universe is removing those dangerous parts in your life. The camp, for me, the camp where all these swords are being taken away are somehow disarming, the universe disarming those situations that can be potential harm to you and to your life situation. So it's like the universe clearing up everything for you. Now the clearing up process can be a little bit scary and a little bit uh, difficult. But the universe is working for your benefit. He's removing all those swords, all those causes of pain and anxiety from you. Now, try to take a pause and discern how and what are these things that the universe is removing from your life and try to see how it is beneficial to you. You might not be able to appreciate it now, but in the near future you will. Now let's try to see what is advice of the universe for us. So at this time of the tower moment, at this time of the universe, removing all those painful parts in your life, just nurture yourself. Spend more time taking care of yourself. Nature can help you in your healing. Uh, doing creative things, following those things that you have always wanted to do. Just concentrate on working on yourself. Rebuild yourself after the tower has been destroyed. This is a time for healing, a time to recover, a time to create a better environment for you. For some of you, there might be a need for you to move to a place where you can feel safe, where you can feel that you can begin again, that you can recreate new things. So for some of you, you might need to move to a new environment where there are no pains, painful things, where the causes of your anxiety, your heartaches are far from you. When it's beyond your sight, beyond your senses, the life situation, when you are not seeing it, when you are not feeling it, when you are not experiencing it, then the situation becomes better and will, it will allow you to recreate your life. So, for some of you, part of the time of healing or part of the process of healing will be going to a place where you can just allow yourself to heal, allow yourself to recreate your life. Nature also is very important at this time. In fact, I feel for some of you, this tower moment and this changing that 
the universe is doing in your life will lead to your transformation and to your growth. Now, let's go to insights at twilight. When we encounter difficult emotional situations, what comes to me right now is that the universe is building up our emotional muscles. If it's a spiritual situation, the universe is building up our spiritual muscles, making us stronger in the process. You see here the dust devil moving out of stagnation. When we go to the desert or when we are by the beach, sometimes mini tornadoes, which sometimes they call the dust devil, occurs in the sand or occurs in the land where suddenly it destroys everything in its path in order to recreate things. It's like the tower moment that you are undergoing right now. The universe is clearing up the path. It's uh, everything that the dust devil, it removes everything. And suddenly what it le leaves behind is uh, as if gone already. So it's like the universe removing everything for you. Now, dances on one foot. It will require you to regain. It's a balancing act. As the universe destroys everything, you need to regain that balance. And the best way to do that is to nurture yourself. Remember, the tower moment is that moment wherein the universe is removing all those things that are causing you pain at this time. So, just dance. You see here? Even if you're losing your balance, you're still dancing. <laughs> dancing on one foot okay or dances on one foot you're trying to regain balance and the best way for you to regain balance balance is to nurture yourself pamper yourself a little pursue something that you've always wanted to do for example if all those years you wanted to do something or to learn something that you were not able to do so because of the life situation you were in. Now that this life situation is being removed by the dust devil or by the tower moment, it's time for you to pursue it. Now you have the time. Now you have the time also for yourself. If before you were in a situation wherein you're always the one who is giving. You're always the one who is adjusting. You're always the one who is trying to maintain the relationship or the situation in a less difficult way or trying to improve the situation. Now the universe is removing the situation away from you so that you won't have any more pain. You now have time to nurture yourself. You now have time for yourself. You now have time to pursue your passions. So, the dust devil, the tower moment, these are blessings in disguise. Well, that's it for today. I hope you were able to benefit from our reading. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.